Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is David Hall and I'm the RF Product Manager here at National Instruments. Now what I'm going to be talking about today is how LabVIEW, and in particular LabVIEW 8.6, can solve processor intensive measurement applications such as RF and wireless tests. Now the way we're going to do that is by doing a sequence of WCDMA measurements, and that's a 3G cellular standard. Now for this benchmark, I'll be comparing a PXI Express measurement system down here on the bottom. Now this system includes the new 6.6 GHz vector signal generator and the new 6.6 GHz vector signal analyzer. Now also, I'll be comparing that with the traditional vector signal analyzer. And you can see that I can turn this display off and on. Um, I'm actually going to turn it off in this case to give uh, the fairest comparison possible. Now I'll be controlling this system with a GPIB cable. Now I've chosen GPIB simply because it's the lowest latency instrumentation bus for external instruments. So what we're going to do is run a sequence of measurements and compare the performance to see which one is faster. So coming over to the demo, when I click on start, you can see in red that I'm plotting the measurement time on the y-axis versus the number of averages on the x-axis in blue. Now for the traditional instrument, a single ACLR measurement takes about 150 milliseconds, whereas for uh, nine averages, it takes about 1,200 milliseconds. Now this is contrasted with the PXI Express system, which ranges from eight milliseconds in the lower case to 75 milliseconds in the fastest case. Now overall, we can see that the NI instrument performs this about 20 times faster than a traditional one. Now going over to the error vector magnitude measurement, we can observe a similar effect. Again, we see the linear relationship between measurement time and number of averages. Note that averaging is often used in a production test versus validation application. If I'm doing production test, I might use one, three, or five averages to improve measurement throughput. In validation and verification, I might use nine or even more to improve measurement repeatability in these applications. And again, we see the speed up in this, for this measurement is about 6x. Now I'm going to go over to my final measurement, which is occupied bandwidth. The occupied bandwidth measurement is basically just an FFT. And again, it's extremely processor intensive. As a result, we see a similar performance improvement on PXI Express. Here we can see about 30x improvement in measurement speed versus the traditional instrument. Now what this demo shows us is that with processor intensive applications, such as RF and communications test, the high performance and parallelism of a programming language such as LabVIEW gives us better measurement speed and overall better uh, test throughput.